I'm just going to make sure it's on. And I'm setting my timer. Okay, cool. That's okay. We'll figure it out. One thing I'm Nothing. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead. Everyone, please go to the next slide for me. I think it's going to be 13. Am I wrong? 14. Thank you. I was close. Okay. We're going to move on to 14. So this is what you're going to be looking at here. I want everyone to switch your slides. And I want you to see this on your screen. Okay, it's cool? It's cool. Sweet. Okay, so you guys know what this is. Right? Stop. Everyone knows what that is. Yeah, it's a stop sign or a stop light. So, you guys are familiar. Red means stop, yellow means slow, hopefully, and green means directly involved. No, it doesn't. It means go. So, you guys are going to do red, yellow, green, and these represent the different varied involvements of the United States at this time. Okay? So, at first, you're like, mm, no, we're not going to drive. We're just going to sit right where we're at and we're going to wait for it to burn green, right? And then, we were kind of like, oh, maybe it's better off for certain people to win than others. So we're going to start sliding money over the table to fund the operations of our allies. So we wanted to fund Great Britain, France, and Soviet Union, right? And we wanted to support them so they could win the war, but we didn't really want to be a part of it. It was really messy. We didn't feel like getting involved, right? And then Green is out of Pearl Harbor when we got dragged in by our feet, right? We didn't have a choice. We had to go ahead and join. We had held off long enough, you know? So, it should be said that the war started in 39 and we didn't join until 41. So there was two years, right, where we were waiting to get involved. And that's this phase, right? So we have early and then economic involvement started about halfway through and then we ended up joining the war. So we're gonna go through and I wanna explain this a little bit because it helps me to get a bit of a delay sometimes. And I know that you guys are the same way. So, I wanna explain why isolationism is a thing why we were concerned. So, a lot of y'all are probably thinking like when we were isolating and we were avoiding the war, it's because we were looking at Europe and it looked really messy and it looked kind of scary and we didn't want to get involved. But in reality, when we think about JIG, right, Japan, Italy, Germany, right, they were invading neighboring nations. And so when we think about World War II, we think about Europe, we think about the heart of Europe, right? But I think sometimes we often forget that Japan is far closer to us than Europe is. So if you think about this, and I like to have a nice visual. So I want to explain something to you guys. So Japan, at the beginning of World War II, remember, Japan kind of kicked the whole thing off because China was the first to declare war on anyone because Japan, which is right here, invaded China. And um, Joyce yesterday actually told me that they also invaded Japan. So, Japan, Korea, Japan invaded China and Korea. So, when we talked about, like, Monday, the cause of World War II, Jig, Japan, Italy, Germany, where they were invading their neighboring nations, right? And so if this, over here, where's Germany? All right, Germany, all right, and Italy, they were invading neighboring nations, okay? All these bad boys, right? And so that's in Europe, Europe. But if we think about... Asia over here, Japan, stay with me, Japan was attacking the surrounding nations. But the thing we have to think about is that we are a neighboring nation to Japan. Everyone go like this. This is a map. Okay? Yeah, don't hit your neighbor. Not your neighbor. But this map was this flat. If you went like this and you took a map and you folded it in, so you can search it. I want y'all to think about the two ends of that paper. You can sit down now. Thank you. Okay. The two ends of your map. Okay? These two ends of your map are actually touching because the world is not flat, right? The world's round. So the globe, Japan and the U.S. are super close together. Okay? So if we think about it, I'm going to move this up here. So, if right here and right here are where that map ends, that means that if Hawaii is here, and Alaska is right here, right? Because if we take that map and we touch it together, that means that Hawaii and Alaska are not terribly far from Japan at all. And Japan was attacking to the east, right? North, east, south, west. From your direction, right? If you're looking at that. So if Japan's attacking this direction, they're going this way. That means that Japan, stay with me. Japan's right here. 
and they're attacking east. That's us, right? And so when we heard that Japan was invading neighboring nations and they were going east, we started freaking out. So we're like, well, goodness, that's us, right? Because Hawaii is a part of the United States and so is Alaska. And California is not too far, you know, we're right there. So, give me one second. So when we heard that Japan was going east, that concerned us. Because Japan is not far from us at all, and so if they're invading the east, we're right there. You know, so we were starting to get concerned, more so than about the conflict in Europe, but we were concerned more with Japan. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay, so Japan going east basically is at our back door. All right? And so when we think about this, these are going to make a little more sense. Yes, Bryson. Everyone talks about, um, like, I think Finland, like in 1942 or something, So, 
When we start giving them things, we're letting other nations borrow things like ships, like guns, like tanks, stuff like that that they needed, right? Because they were running out of money. They've been fighting for two years, right? And so we start giving them things that they need. Like we're giving them guns, we're giving them food, we're giving them clothes, we're giving them shoes, 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 we're giving them shoes
Hey, you already have it pulled up. Can you please sit quietly so that I know you're all set? Thank you. It says try again. It's not letting you on. It's not letting you log in. Are you logging in? It's not so log in with Google. So go back to the beginning. I don't see it. So when it says log in, scroll down. It says find in with Google. Find in with Google. Sorry, give me one second. Thank you so much. I scroll down. Okay, you got it. Sorry, guys. Oh my gosh. So go to Six Period US History, and it'll show up as a live thing. It's ready, right? It's waiting to start. All right, how many peeps do we have in here today? Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, wow. All right, I think it's 125. So you guys may start joining. Log in. Can I help anyone get in? They're going to talk to you about it because it's probably not going to be a fun time for you. So, also, I'm going to be walking around in between questions. So, please be respectful and work on your head puzzles so we can get through these and we can get to the end of the class. And the class bell doesn't cut us off because then you'll lose your progress. We're going to watch every single clip twice so that you guys have every opportunity to get the right answer. But I need you guys to listen up for a second because this video, hey, oh, class. Hey, oh, yes. This video is really quiet. And I have it on the maximum volume it will go, but because we have fans around and it's an already quiet video, I need you guys to not speak in between questions or while we're asking questions because I want everyone to be able to hear. I'm going to put a closed captioning on so it's not a huge concern, but I want you guys to have every opportunity to hear the answers. Everyone say it's cool? It is. Alright, let's stay quiet and let's watch this. This is the situation facing the British in the early days of World War II, which prompted the signing of the Lend Lease Act between Great Britain and the United States. Here's how it went down. No, no, no. Okay. I don't need to get locked out. Oh. Alright, guys, who was the Lend Lease Act between? Don't close your book. And remember, don't ever close your screens while we're doing this because I want you to use your progress, right? So keep it open. Who is the Lend Lease Act between? I'm going to play it one more time so you guys have the right answer, yeah? This is the situation facing the British in the early days of World War II, which prompted the signing of the Lend Lease Act between Great Britain and the United States. Here's how it went down. All right, who was the Lend Lease Act between? U.S. and Britain or U.S. and Germany? Everyone submit your answers because everyone has to be in before we move on. So you're not going to get the right answer before we hit submit. Give us one second, guys. Go to another tab. 
guys to be in the room, okay? All right, guys, take class. I need y'all to stay on track, right? Because we don't have an extended amount of time. We have enough to finish it, but we need to do this right now. All right? Y'all listen up so you can hear it. In December of 19, England warned U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt that he should have been president. Though the U.S. was not yet involved in the war, President Roosevelt wanted to support England. However, he was back. Which nation was heading towards bankruptcy, meaning no more money, due to the war effort? We're going to rewatch it. Make sure you're staying quiet. Did you say hey, yeah. we're not talking anymore because people in the back came here. Thank you. Most hate the nations in buying from the United States. In December of 1940, England warned U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt that he should be dead. Though the U.S. was not yet involved in the war, President Roosevelt wanted to support England. However, he... Which nation was heading towards bankruptcy due to the war effort? Go ahead and see your answers. Hey guys, we're not talking in between answers. Miss Carter, yes. Is there any way to hold the mic at the speaker? I mean, we can't hear it at all back here. That's fine. But we'll yeah. only 20 people oh, be able to answer because he's not. If in. you're not Miss Fatune, I need you to not be talking right now. Thank you. Where's the speaker? I think it's like in the. It's in here. I mean, what? Let's see where we can hear the sixty. Maybe to the back.
early January 1941, FDR asked Congress if he could do things a little differently. He wanted the power to lend and or lease weapons to American allies. The act would authorize the president to sell, lend, or rent military hardware to any country deemed vital to national security. This was... All right, by 1941, Roosevelt wanted Congress to allow him to sell, lend, and rent to countries deemed vital to our national security. So this means we're lending it to them because if they lose, it's going to be a bad thing for us. We're going to rewatch it. So we could do things a little differently. He wanted the power to lend and or lease weapons to American allies. The act would authorize the president to sell, lend, or rent military hardware to any country deemed vital to national security. I think it's... All right, pick one or the other. Also guys, class is wrapping up in two minutes. So I'm gonna keep you guys one minute after the bell to wrap this up so you don't have to do it later, but only if you guys stay quiet where you can get through it. If you guys stay quiet.
Hi guys. Oh, wait.